Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to install the VMware Fusion on Apple Silicon. This is M2 MacBook Air. The process is same for all the MacBooks M1, M2 and M3. First we have to download the VMware Fusion. Then we need to install it. Then after that we can build the VMware on top of that. I'm going to the download that one. First you have to go to the Google and search VMware Fusion for free. And then you will see this blog site which is provided by VMware. You can go there and when you go a little bit down, you can see download option here, VMware Fusion Pro download. Once you click that, you will get into the Broadcom site. I have already signed in and logged into the Broadcom site. This is the website. Once you logged into that one, after creating an account, you will see this VMware Fusion 13 Pro for personal use. Just click on it and then click the latest release of it. And then you can click this downloadable version over here. Maybe you will ask yes to allow it and then you can simply allow it. Then it will start downloading that. VMware Fusion. So once it downloaded, we will do the installation part. Now it's been downloaded. Now what we have to do is we have to install this one. I can simply double click on it. Yep. And I can allow it. This is VMware Fusion 13. We have to double click on here to install it. And it will automatically install for us. We have to just wait and then we can open it. I have to enter my password and then OK. It is initializing the process. Still, we have to wait. I think it's already done. Yep, it's opening from the dock. Looks like all good. You can close the notifications and you can open the Fusion. See, after installing this, you can see this one. You can close this. If you want, you can create custom virtual machine or you can download Windows from Microsoft. You can do a lot of things. I will just click continue. If you have any image, you can put it here. I don't have images at the moment. And then after that, you can move forward for the further steps. I'm going to simply cancel this, close this one. So this is how you can do the VMware Fusion. So this is the VMware Fusion window look like. We'll see on the next video how you can create virtual machines, especially Kali Linux and Windows 10 on top of this VMware Fusion. Thank you guys. Stay tuned.